Hello everyone, in this video we're going to draw a lynx. Start by drawing a big circle as a guide for the head. To draw the circle, first make two small marks to indicate the circle's length, and then on the sides make two more small marks to indicate the circle's width. Then connect the marks using curved lines to finish the shape of the circle. Sketch lightly at first so that it's easy to erase if you make a mistake. Also pause the video to draw at your own pace. The circle doesn't have to be perfect, but if you're having trouble drawing it, just trace the outer edge of a bowl, a cup, or anything else with a circular edge. The bigger you make this circle, the bigger the head will be. Inside the circle, draw a horizontal line. This is a construction guide that will help you place the facial features later on. Curve the line so that it contours to the shape of the circle. On top of the horizontal line, draw a shorter curved vertical line for another construction guide. Under the horizontal guide, draw a small circle as a guide for the muzzle. Use the 4 marks method to draw this circle too. First make 4 small marks to indicate the sides of the circle and then connect the marks using curved lines to finish the shape of the circle. The muzzle should fit in the space between the horizontal construction guide and the bottom edge of the head. On top of the horizontal construction guide, draw two small circles as guides for the eyes. Place the eyes on either side of the vertical construction guide. Use the vertical construction line as a guide to help you determine the space between the eyes. Pay attention to the size of the eyes in relation to the rest of the head. Inside the muzzle, lightly sketch a small triangle as a guide for the nose. First draw a short horizontal line for the top edge and then a V-shaped line at the bottom. Place the nose slightly to the left of center. On the top right side of the head, draw a big triangular shape as a guide for the first ear. The ear should be big in relation to the rest of the head. Make the tip of this shape slightly rounded. On the left side, draw another big triangular shape as a guide for the other ear. The two ears should be similar in shape and size. And that's it for the guidelines. Now let's start on the final drawing. Darken the small circle on the left side to create the first eye. Draw the top edge of the eye slightly lower than the original circle. On the bottom right side, draw a small angled line for the inner corner of the eye. Add another small angled line on the top left side for the outer corner of the eye. Now draw the eye on the right the same way. Darken the circle but make the top edge slightly lower. On the sides, draw two small angled lines for the corners of the eye. Sketch the eyes lightly at first and when you get the shapes right, darken the lines. The top edges of the eyes should overlap the small circles that represent the eyeballs. The eye on the left should be a bit smaller than the eye on the right because the head is slightly turned. The shapes of the eyes should be similar to small footballs with circles inside. The inner corners of the eyes should point down toward the top corners of the nose. Inside each eye, draw a small oval for the pupils. Place the ovals in the middle of the eyes. When you get the shape and position of the pupils right, darken the lines and shade them in. You can also draw the pupils as slightly larger circles if you want the pupils to be more dilated. On the side of each pupil, draw tiny circles to represent highlights. Extend the inner corners of the eyes by adding a couple of short lines. Above each eye, draw a few short strokes for a bit of fur. Now use the triangle that's inside the muzzle as a guide to draw the nose. 
Darken the top edge of the triangle but make the corners more rounded. Inside the nose, on the right edge, lightly sketch a short curved line for the first nostril. Darken the bottom part of the nose but raise the bottom edge and make it more flat. On the left edge, draw another short curved line for the other nostril. Sketch the nose lightly at first and only darken the lines when you get the shapes right. Draw a short vertical line at the bottom and darken the lower corner of the initial triangle. Add a couple of short lines on the top corners for the bridge of the nose. These lines should point toward the inner corners of the eyes. Under the nose, draw a line that curves to the left for the first part of the mouth. The line should curve up slightly and end at the edge of the initial circle for the muzzle. To the right, draw another line that curves to the right for the other side of the mouth. Use a series of short strokes as you draw this line for the fur on the mouth. Add a few more short strokes on the edges of the circle for the sides of the muzzle. The sides of the muzzle should be wider than the initial circle. Below the mouth, draw a curved shape for the chin. Follow the basic path of the lower edge of the circle as you draw the chin. Use short strokes as you draw to create a furry texture. Now use the triangular shape on the top right side as a guide to draw the first ear. Darken the initial guide but make the right side wavier and wider at the bottom. Draw a series of short strokes along the bottom edge of the shape for the furry base of the ear. Now draw longer strokes within the shape for the fur that's inside the ear. On the tip of the shape, draw a couple of wavy vertical lines for the tuft on the ear. Draw a couple more short vertical lines on the tip of the tuft to give the shape a furry texture. You can make the tuft slightly longer if you'd like. Now use the triangular shape on the left side as a guide to draw the other ear the same way. Darken the guide but make the left side a bit wavier. At the bottom, along the edge of the initial circle, draw a few short strokes for the furry base of the ear. Add longer strokes within the shape for the longer fur that's inside the ear. At the top, draw the ear tuft using a series of vertical lines. Now use the first circle as a guide to draw the rest of the head. Draw a series of short strokes along the path of the initial circle to create the shape of the head. Use short strokes for the top of the head and slightly longer strokes for the sides. Extend the bottom shape of the head lower than the initial circle to create the long fur on the cheeks. The fur on the cheeks should hang down on the sides and then curve back up in the middle toward the chin. Sketch the bottom part of the head lightly at first and when you get the shapes right, darken the lines using short strokes for the fur. The bottom of the head should be similar to a big letter W or two small letter Vs. The right side should be a bit bigger than the left side because the head is slightly turned. The longer you make these strokes, the longer the fur will be. Inside the head, add a few more short strokes for extra detail on the fur. Draw a couple of long lines that are made up of short strokes on the sides of the face to give the head more structure. Now erase the initial guidelines. 
The next few steps are sped up so that the video won't be too long. Don't worry about erasing all of the guidelines, it's okay to leave some behind. Redraw any of the final lines that you may have accidentally erased. Now shade your drawing. Use a dark value for the tufts on the ears. Draw a few small stripes on the forehead using a series of short vertical strokes. Draw rows of spots on the sides of the muzzle for the bases of the whiskers. Shade lightly at first and gradually build up to dark values. For light values, push down very lightly on your pencil, then push down harder for darker values. Shade the nostrils using a dark value. Darken the corners of the eyes. Use a dark value within the ears for shadows. Shade the rest of the head using a series of short strokes all over. Use strokes that go in the general direction of the fur. Here the strokes will radiate outward from the nose. Use a medium value to shade the nose but add a lighter value at the top for a highlight. Add a medium value on the top part of the eyes but don't overlap the small highlight circles. As you shade, separate each stroke a bit so that the white of the paper comes through and creates a more furry texture. Add a few spots and stripes on the sides of the head using a dark value. Leave the area around the eyes and on the lower half of the muzzle blank for the white fur. Add a slightly darker value under the mouth and chin to create some shadows. Draw a couple of big stripes along the sides of the head. Shading can be time consuming, so be patient and take breaks. It's a good idea to use reference as you shade for a more accurate depiction of a lynx. Keep shading until you're happy with the result. And that's it for the lynx. Don't forget to pause the video to draw at your own pace. Also, please visit howtodrawanimals.com where every step of this tutorial is broken down into an individual image. That's how, and then the number two, then drawanimals.com. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and a comment. Also, subscribe for more videos in the future. Thank you for watching, and until next time, keep drawing.